quick question is one second always one second in other words does time tick the same way through the universe turns out your one second is not the same as my one second but why Newton says one second on earth is same as one second on sun is same as one second on Jupiter is same as one second anywhere in the space but Einstein says no that's not true actually when you are moving fast time slows down and when you are going away from earth for example if you are living on a mountain as compared to sea level then your time goes faster than the time of a person living at sea level now the time i'm talking about is in terms of nanoseconds sometimes femtoseconds but this has been observed to be true by experiments done by scientists on earth at sea level at mountain level at international space station and uh, beyond so this theory has proved to be correct if you want your watch to tick slower you need to stay as near to the sea level as possible if you're living on a mountain well you will age faster if you're living at sea level you'll age slower Einstein explains this idea of different times at different places with this thought experiment he says imagine there are two brothers who are twins both are 30 years old now one brother participates in an experiment he says I will go and travel the space in a train that travels at the speed of light the second brother says okay I'll wait for you at this platform and they say goodbye to each other now the brother who is on this train travels at the speed of light his watch ticks time much much slower compared to the watch of the brother who stays on earth so this brother completes his space journey and comes back after one year so after one year he comes back and he is 31 years old how old do you think his brother would be who stayed on earth and Einstein then says well because the brothers clock the brother's time went faster much much faster because relative to the speed of light he's not moving much so this brother who went to space on a train with the speed of light is only 31 years old but the other brother that stayed on earth is actually in his early 80s so he has aged much much faster and that's kind of mind-blowing isn't it but if we can devise a train that can go at the speed of light in that case it would be a reality both brothers will age differently at the rates that are visible to our naked eyes if you want to age slower move faster so according to Newton time doesn't change wherever you are in space one second is one second but Einstein says no it actually changes it depends on the speed at which you are going and also if you are near a massive thing or if you are away from a massive object now let's talk about the GPS satellites that revolve around the earth GPS satellites they are revolving around the earth at around 14,000 kilometers per hour which is a very high speed and as we saw when you speed things up time starts ticking slowly but at the same time GPS satellites are above in the space they are at about 20,200 kilometers above the earth's surface but why 20,200 kilometers because the GPS satellite is above the earth's surface what happens is the time ticks faster as you move away from a massive object like earth as you go away from the sea level up in the sky in the space time ticks faster but the GPS satellite is also moving around the Earth at a very high speed, at the speed of around uh, about 14,000 kilometers per hour. That's a very high speed. And when things speed up, time slows down. So 
20,200 kilometers above the Earth's surface is the distance at which the time slowing effect and the time ticking faster effects cancel each other. So that's how the GPS satellites tick their clocks at the same time as we have the clocks ticking on Earth. And that's how you get the accurate location information from the GPS satellites above. Isn't that interesting? Before we finish this video, let me leave you with one amazing fact. So the question that I asked in this section is, which is older, your feet or your head? And the answer is that, in fact, your feet are a bit younger than your head. Your head ages faster than your feet. But why is it so? So in 2010, scientists used atomic clocks and they established by the way of experimentations that over a lifetime of let's say 80 years your feet and your head will age differently so how did they do the experiment what they did is they used two atomic clocks one they put on the surface of earth and the other one they placed about two meters above the surface of earth and that's two meters is usually uh, about 200 centimeters that's usually the height of a human being uh, anyway so they put these two clocks one at the ground level and the other one two meters above and then they measured the time dilation the difference of the ticking of clocks between these two distances and then they did some computations and they established that by the time a person turns 80 years old the clock at the level of their head ticks a little bit faster than a clock that's placed at their feet or a lifetime of 80 years the difference between these two clocks was 90 nanoseconds this is a very very small uh, difference in the ticking times but what it establishes that in principle your head is 90 nanoseconds older than your feet by the time you turn 80 years old isn't that amazing thank you for watching this video i hope you liked it and please like subscribe and share this video as much as possible and as always i'll see you in the next one until then bye bye